Oh, you seem happy. Oh, it's in one more day. Okay. Now, you probably noticed I'm not taking the lantern out of my offhand anymore. Because at this point, I really don't care. So, just so you know, I am aware that I have a lantern in my offhand and I don't need it here. I just don't care anymore. So, anyway. Put this axle, like, right over here. Okay, so this... Okay, I'm doing the lower temperature ones first, just so we can get that out of the way. And these high temp ones... See, it was worth it. And I'm just gonna wait first. In the meantime, we'll make some more clay shingles, fire clay shingles. Another set of three stacks. I think this is pretty much what I'm going to be doing for the rest of this play session is just make fire clay shingles while I make the armor. And it'd probably be more efficient if I just uh, turn the plates immediately into iron chains, but you know, I really don't feel like it. Maybe when I'm like halfway done, I'll start doing that. You, where'd you go? Iron plates. Here we go. All right, let's start lighting this up now. Keep this going. Oh yeah, I forgot to take these voxels out. First time I forgot that. Okay. Let's keep this going. go. There's a plate. Alright, let's keep this going. How many do I have at this point? Let's see, just one stack. All right. It's February four morning, and it's fairly warm. Let's light up another one. We actually have six more ingots here. Might as well just put them here now. Okay, where were we? Oh yeah, more fire clay shingles. Got another plate going. Now 
Now, just a reminder for everyone, this playthrough will end on May 1st, 1387. Just like the last playthrough I did in version 1.14. And once I am done with this, I will be releasing the map. So, you'll be able to explore this world that I have created, basically. You have to check out all the places here, see what I did, and so on. And of course, you'll also be able to see if you turn on uh, the map and the map coordinates, you'll be able to see where exactly everything is if you want to. So if it's anything like the last playthrough, I prob this area right here is probably the center of the world, or at least close to it. And then you'll be able to see, like, where the translocators took me. Okay, there's another plate. Okay, let's light up another one. I have seven plates. This is gonna be eight, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah, it's twenty. Like I already counted it. I'm not. I'm not sure why I wanted to double check that. Okay, so this is the third stack. Now, I don't want to be building anything, like, in the workshop while this health hammer is going because I'm going to be, like, on top of the building and if this is going, I need to pick stuff up. I need to go all the way back down just to keep this going. So, really don't want to be doing that at the same time as building stuff. All right, let's keep this going. We almost have another stack of this. Except I can't really fire this up because I don't have any more sticks. And on top of that, I don't really have like torches anymore to explore. So can't get sticks while this is going. That's what I wanted to say. Wait, okay, 28. This will turn into 40. And maybe I'll go on and play this for another hour before I take a break. Okay, so two more rounds, and then I'll have another four pit kilns worth. But again, I need sticks in order to continue doing this. There we go, picking up speed on the health hammer. Oh, forgot to fire that up. Got 10 iron plates now. And you know what? It is halfway done.
So I need one more round and then I'll have a full stack of this stuff. I'm gonna start working on this now. Except I need a hammer, don't I? Where's my hammer? It's in my inventory! Of course it is. Okay, this is heating up. Okay, let's just do this first. So the reason you turn the two ingots into a plate is because you can just do this with the iron chain. You can actually make these iron chains using two ingots, but it's so much easier if you just turn this into plates first. Like so. Now I do need like one round of stuff. Hey, come on. I'll just store them in here. Okay, let's keep this going. And then we'll get fire clay shingles. One more round. There we go. Well, let's just store them in here for now. I need to get rid of that grass. Put them in here. And this, this is still going. Okay, I think I'm done with fire clay shingles for the time being. Let's go start turning this into uh, iron chains. All right, I'm finally getting hungry. Not sure why I'm excited about that. I guess it's because I need to increase my nutrition. Can't really do that if I'm not hungry. Zero point one servings once again. All right. Let's continue doing this. Ah, uh, this is still going. You want? I'm just gonna light this now. Yeah. See, look, look how easy this is. I mean, you just start this from plate, it's so much easier. Alright, so... Get this. Keep this going. Right, let's start this now. All I have to do is just poke these holes out. Gonna have to do this like 20 times. Plates right here. It's still going. You know, I'm gonna light this up right now. Okay, let's keep this going.
Oh man, this health hammer really is working quickly. Better take advantage of it as much as possible. Here's the plate. We're almost done getting iron chainmail. Just gotta keep this going. Alright, put this here. And I think I'll fire this up now. I think I'll put this over here. Just for the time being. Alright, so let's continue making these. So tomorrow morning we'll check on the trader again. So it should be restocked then the hell is going on uh I i'm confused like what the hell is going on Why are you not? Oh my god, are you serious? All right. Okay, put this here. We're gonna have to work this manually because I'm stupid. Okay, iron plate. Wait, is there a way to, like, change the item? Oh, I guess it's too late. Like, there should be, like, an option to, like, change the item. In case you change your mind. That makes things so much easier in case you make mistakes like this. See, this is what I was talking about. Making the iron chain mail, or the iron chain from like two ingots. Iron plate. Okay. Yeah, gotta work quickly. Just move these materials here. Oh man, can't believe I did that. Okay, last iron plate, and you're good to go. All of this is now iron plates. So now you can see why I turn them into iron plates first before I work them. It's because of this. Like, this is just ridiculous. I mean, it is possible to do this. It's just a lot more work. A lot more durability on my hammer. And this is now too cold to work. Fuck you. <laughs> Got me, game. Uh, 
Okay. Let's do that. Work item. Okay, uh, let's light this up. We'll work on it later. Right now, we need to get this processed. Now, I haven't heard the message for Temporal Storm yet, so it's gonna come like within a day or two, I think. So, we gotta hurry up and get this done. Okay, this is ready to go. Let's continue working on this. Alright, let's start chopping this up. Get rid of all the bits and pieces here. A lot of this excess material is removed when you make the iron plate. Again, it's so much easier if you just make the iron plate instead of doing it with two ingots. Okay, what's next? I think it's time to light something up here. If any of you are timing this, this is how fast it is. And then if you go back in the video, you can see how long it takes to like make it from two ingots. But it might be an unfair comparison because it got too cold and I had to reheat it. So add that to the time if you want or not. But this is just so much more efficient. But I think by the end of the night, I should have a full set of iron chainmail. Now I'm just hoping I did the math properly. Okay, so we need to light this up, this up, and that's already lit. On top of that, I'm getting my nutrition back, so combined with the armor, I should be set. I'm thinking of everything else that I still need to get done. Like, there's still the path going to the double translocators that I still need to work on. And what else? And the workshop, of course. Oh, what the hell? Oh, okay, so eight is a full stack of that stuff. Probably should light another one now. Oh, 
Also getting hungrier. Probably should eat the bread. Because that stuff is starting to spoil. We're getting close to starting to spoil. I do need bread anyway. Yeah, let's go eat some bread. It's like 3.5 days. This will spoil in 10 hours. Oh, I need to scarf down 18 loaves of bread in 10 hours. Woohoo. Alright, so enough of that. Go continue doing this. I mean, I could probably still sell it to the trader if I leave right now. Like the survival trader to the east, I mean, by the path. Hey, let's combine all of these. There we go. This is well done in that forge. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to be able to finish this before the end of this play session with some time to spare to do like something else. So I'm thinking after this, we'll continue working on the workshop. I don't have any of the clay shingles ready to go just yet, but I can build the third tower for the windmill. Even get it primed and ready for shingles there. Okay, time to light this up. 